A small European nation plans to avoid bankruptcy uh, could have big repercussions for the rest of the continent. The Parliament of Cyprus is set to vote on a financial bailout measure that's raising concerns of all outrun of the banks. Dominic Philitis has the details from London. Dominic, tell us about the measure and why it's causing such concern. Well, Hannah, people with less than 130 $3,000 in their accounts will face a one-time tax of 6.7%. Uh, those with more than 133000 will pay 9.9%, and it comes uh, into force on Tuesday. It's hoped the move will raise about $8 billion, but perhaps more importantly, and if it gets uh, voted through by the Cypriot Parliament tomorrow, it will guarantee about $13 billion of bailout cash for the country, without which uh, Cyprus's president says the, the country will slide into disorderly bankruptcy. Now, as you can imagine, uh, people aren't too happy about this. It's their savings that are being taxed. And what we've been seeing today is people lining up outside the country's banks and ATMs desperate to withdraw their money. So what's the broader implications when this levy kicks in? Well, it's worth pointing out that it's not just Cypriots that are getting hit by all this. The island is also home to a significant British expat community, many of whom are pensioners. They could lose money. And non-resident Russians as well. They make up half of Cyprus's depositors and arguably keep the country's <coughs> economy afloat. They'll also be hit. Uh, there are concerns that they may leave taking their money with them, which of course would be bad news uh, for the Cypriot economy. There's also a large British military presence in Cyprus, and they have savings. The British government, uh, though, has this morning agreed to compensate them uh, should they lose out as a result of the tax. How much that will be uh, depends on how much this particular group has in savings. We don't know uh, for certain, but it will be uh, the British taxpayer picking up the bill for that compensation. So in a sense, uh, the financial implications are already being felt here in the United Kingdom. Anna. Thanks for the latest, Dominic. Thank you.